वेरी मच बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद अध्यक्ष जी एक वो है जो वायदा करके भुला देते हैं और एक हम हैं कि उनके वायदों को भी निभा देते हैं अब आप सोचेंगे कि मैंने ये बात कही क्यों तो मैं चिदम्बरम जी का भाषण पढ़ना चाहती हूँ और उनके भाषण में जब वो एन बिल लेकर आए थे तो उन्होंने कहा था देर आर नो एक्स्ट्रा ऑर्डिनरी प्रोविजन एंड देर आर नो अनयूजल प्रोविजन आई हैव एक्सप्लेन गॉड फीचर्स ऑफ एन आई ए आई वुड रिस्पेक्टफुली रिक्वेस्ट ऑल सेक्शन ऑफ द हाउस टू सपोर्ट द एन आई ए लेट एस अलाउ दिस बिल टू बी पास आई नो देर मे बी रिजर्वेशन अबाउट वन क्लॉज और अनदर क्लॉज बट दिस इज द टाइम टू डिमॉन्स्ट्रेट टू द कंट्री दट डिस्पाइट आर रिजर्वेशन वी आर ऑल यूनाइटेड लेट एस पास द बिल इफ इन द वर्किंग ऑफ द बिल we find there are any deficiencies then we will meet again unfortunately he couldn't be in the house we couldn't meet so i'm here to complete that job and the job is the job is the lacunas which were found in the bill need to be completed and those lacunas are in the administration of justice bitu ji ne baat kahi unke parivar mein shahadat hui हमारे पूर्व प्रधानमंत्री जी की शहादत हुई हमारे एक संसद सदस्य मनीष जी के पिताजी की शहादत हुई और वो सब शहादतों से शायद कांग्रेस पार्टी ने कुछ सीख ली और तय किया कि एन आई बिल आना चाहिए क्योंकि नेचर ऑफ टेररिज्म हैज चेंज एंड नेचर ऑफ टेररिज्म इज नो लॉन्गर रिस्ट्रिक्टेड टू द जूरिस्डिक्शन वेर द क्राइम आर कमिटेड and when the objection by mr ovesi was taken on the jurisdictional issue i have to tell him that ipc and crpc were brought in in 1800 some 1900 something at that time there was no internet that time the global movement was low and at that point in time the nature of crimes were very different so criminal jurisdiction had a different point of view altogether today the crimes are cutting across nations crimes are cutting across states the nature of crime has changed planning is happening somewhere else execution is happening somewhere else and third is a transitional route and india is invariably is, is we are not just a global village but we are a global hub and in that global hub we get into the problems which are faced by other countries i was just thinking about sri lanka bomb blast so this particular amendment and these particular enactments are with a view to support the un conferences on anti terrorist activities un security council in samjhauta blast was talked about by mr ovesi i want to inform him in that case there are three narco analysis of nagori in which admission to the country has happened and whatever has happened in so called cases is because of poor and bad investigation to strengthen investigation to train the officers is what we need to do and it is surprising that people who have suffered due to terrorism in this country are members in this house and they are opposing a bill like this and what is this bill trying to achieve the bill is trying to achieve one objection which was taken is rule of law now i have to inform and unfortunately the members not here but he talked about rule of law the rule of law is prescribed by rules and prescribed by rules because when you are creating special courts you are working under the rules the power of the court has not been taken away in fact the judiciary has been brought in and high court chief justice is the appointing authority by doing that when you designate a court you take away the problems of nominating particular judges by name and those notifications they delay the prosecution of cases and those that delay in prosecution gets to be uh, tackled by these amendments and bitu ji's objection to and then he said ki itne saal case chalte rehte usi ki wajah se takleef hai to handle that this particular amendment is a necessary amendment which has been brought in independence of judiciary we all understand independence of judiciary is ensured independence of parliament legislature and independence of judiciary is very much part and this act in no way hinders that then uh, there were certain uh, there are four uh, four uh, such courts which have to be appointed guwahati kochi kolkata and delhi and in these courts 
this this particular aspect was told to west bengal government kalyan banerjee is not here but i wanted to inform him that his government's role while in that dg's case was positive but in this particular case the government of west bengal has not been cooperating in assigning this particular task of ensuring that there is a there is a court which is assigned as an nia court cyber terrorism has been imported from 66f couple of members talked about that i must say jab obc ji ne kaha कि मेरे बारे में एक वीडियो चलाया खोरस्तान में आईसिस ने कि मैं एक हिंदुस्तानी हुकूमत का गुलाम हूं और समथिंग टू दैट इंपैक्ट आप बताइए आज की तारीख में कौन सी एजेंसी उसको हैंडल कर सकती है कोई एजेंसी हैंडल नहीं कर सकती इसलिए ये अमेंडमेंट चाहिए इफ दिस अमेंडमेंट इज नॉट देयर सच वीडियोज सच इश्यूज पीपल फ्रॉम केरल सो मेनी ऑफ देम विजिटेड आईसिस दे आर इन्वॉल्व इन टेररिस्ट एक्टिविटीज आउटसाइड द कंट्री अंडर विच लॉ विल यू प्रोसिक्यूट दैम अंडर विच लॉ विल यू इन्वेस्टिगेट दैम अंडर विच लॉ विल यू कोऑपरेट विद द एक्सटर्नल एजेंसीज एंड अदर कंट्रीज फॉर डूइंग ऑल दैट दिस गैप नीड्स टू बी फिल्ड एंड फॉर फुलफिलिंग दैट फॉर फिलिंग दैट गैप एंड फुलफिलिंग द इंटरेस्ट विच मिस्टर चिदम्बरम एक्सप्रेस एट दैट टाइम दिस पर्टिकुलर अमेंडमेंट हैज बिन ब्रॉट इन डिलीशन ऑफ सेक्शन थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स एंड सेवन ऑफ सेक्शन इलेवन दिस इज रिगार्डिंग टू अपॉइंटमेंट ऑफ जजेस दिस दिस पर्टिकुलर आस्पेक्ट वॉज ऑल्सो ब्रॉट इन बाय मिस्टर मनीष तिवारी आई नीड टू टेल इन जब देन अ पर्टिकुलर कोर्ट इज डेजिग्नेटेड जस्ट टू मोर मिनट्स आई नीड टू फिनिश दिस इफ अ पर्टिकुलर कोर्ट इज असाइंड एज एन एन आई ए कोर्ट देन दीज पर्टिकुलर इनैक्टमेंट बिकम इरेलीवेंट and obscure and for that reason these are unnecessary sections and that's why this amendment has happened then prosecutor training was also brought in by mr banerjee i must tell him that bopal academy bopal judicial academy is not only dealing with training of judges but it's training it's dealing with the training of uh, 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 prosecutors as well intervention in state jurisdiction was what mr mehta brought in now i must tell him as i have already stated if the nature of crime is different state government state government uh, excuse me excuse me adesh ji mujhe apne bhashan mein jin bhi vishayon ko laya gaya hai unko deal karne ka adhikar hai ya nahi adhikar to ye objection kya le rahe hain are minister to mere mere bhashan pe bhi comment karenge mere bhashan pe bhi comment karenge wo intervention in state jurisdiction it only shows i was listening to all of you very carefully yes. i was yes. sleeping batwari batwari mehta ji ne jurisdiction ki baat ki i have already stated that nature of crime has changed and since nature of crime has changed state police is not equipped to deal with those aspects it is for this reason the dgp police is not the investigating officer he is only an administrative head mr mehta what are you saying <laughs> no dgp is not an investigating officer he is only an administrative head a dg for me the dgp police when you are going to investigate why not involve him in the investigation no under the law i, you I can't think, say no you have no authority to say no. i will say I why i will say why that. because i, I am a trained lawyer i mean आपस में डिबेट करने के लिए सदन नहीं है आप मुझे संबोधित करते बात करें आप अध्यक्ष जी आई पी सी आई पी सी के जो अब आई पी सी के तहत जब क्राइम होता है और अरेस्ट वारंट अगर सी आर पी सी में निकाला जाता है उसमें भी इंटरस्टेट क्राइम हो सकते हैं कि किसी ने दिल्ली में क्राइम किया उत्तर प्रदेश भाग गया तो उसका क्या कानून है उसका कानून है कि उत्तर प्रदेश पुलिस में यहां का इन्वेस्टिगेटिंग ऑफिसर जाएगा वॉरेंट के साथ जाएगा लोकल पुलिस को इन्फॉर्म करेगा उसको प्रोड्यूस यहां करेगा यानी इंटरस्टेट के अंदर भी एग्जिस्टिंग जो बेसिक क्रिमिनल लॉ है उसके तहत भी इन्वेस्टिगेशन से लेकर अरेस्ट का प्रावधान है और इसलिए इन्वेस्टिगेटिंग ऑफिसर की क्या क्या सक्रिय भूमिका होगी वो ये कानून बता रहा है and this law is giving nia officers the same powers as that of a police officer and under that under those powers the the officer is allowed to investigate the matter wherever the crime may have happened 
Now, why registration of cases is important? I have given those examples. If the crimes have happened in Syria, if the crimes have happened in Sri Lanka, if the crimes have happened in Bangladesh, what is the provision under which Indian courts or Indian judicial system will act? The first and foremost is registration of the case under which provision. Till these gaps are filled, the registration of case cannot happen. And till registration of case cannot happen, the evidence cannot be collected. Till evidence cannot be collected, the persons cannot be prosecuted. This is the first step under which registration of case becomes imperative and thus the prosecution. Chief Justice has to maintain the continuity, transfer hota hai, kuch hota hai, to maintain the continuity of prosecution, the courts have been designated rather than people by notification. Jo baat unho ne kahi thi ki existing sessions judge ke upar aur ne bhi itna burden hota hai, agar aap usko ye kaam aur denge, to kaam nahi sambhav hoga. Is wajah se ek alag court ko, let me complete. मान्य सदस्य आप मुझे संबोधन का जवाब दे आप तो 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 the designation of a court helps in maintaining the continuity of prosecution even if the people get transferred or or go to some other jurisdiction and it is all meant for expeditious disposal. Mr. Raja commented about communalization of the act. Let me explain to him. I can take him back to what. What, what Mr. Chidamran said, what Mr. Chidamran said, I am quoting Mr. Chidamran, कि वो जो था, वो communal law था, ये secular law है, ये तो नहीं कहोगे, ऐसी उम्मीद करता हूँ कि आपने देश का बहुत नुकसान किया है. What I am trying to say is this particular enactment is actually a secular enactment. It is not defining the religion of a terrorist or religion of a criminal. All it is saying is, and in fact in the practical side of its jurisdiction, left-wing terrorism, terrorism in northeast, and uh, all these things have been handled in a pretty much uh, uh, exemplary way. Chalte chalte ek baat. Chalte chalte. I just want to bring up uh, six six things which have been brought under this for, uh, already eight things are listed thi eight things ke andar four things aur isme import ki gayi hain aur wo four things hain 66a of it act explosives act kyunki kai baar jab terrorism ke aap cases uh, investigate karte hain to bombs aur any material unke paas hota hai jiska adhikar jo hai wo state government ke paas hai inke paas nahi hai isliye isko import karna zaruri tha trafficking or drug trafficking trafficking of women or drug trafficking इससे जितना पैसा आता है क्योंकि हम लोग गोल्डन क्रिसेंट और गोल्डन ट्रायंगल के बिल्कुल बीच में बैठे हैं जहां पे सबसे ज्यादा स्मगलिंग होती है ह्यूमन ट्रैफिकिंग भी होती है और वो रास्ता बना हुआ है इसलिए उससे डील करने के लिए 370 एंड 370 ए ऑफ आईपीसी हैज बिन ब्रॉट इन जो बहुत सारी बंदूकें तरीके तरीके की ए के फोर्टी वगैरह जो है वो आम जात के अंदर भी उसको इंपोर्ट किया गया है और उस आम जात के अंदर इंपोर्ट करने के बाद में जो प्रोहिबिटेड आम है उसका बोर्ड तक डिफाइन करके बाकी सब के साथ शेड्यूल में उसको डाला गया जो एंटी हाइजैकिंग एटोमिक एनर्जी वगैरह से संबंधित है मैं आ, सिर्फ ये बताना चाहती हूँ क्योंकि उन्होंने कुछ केसेस का जिक्र किया था माने सदस्य आप बोल रहे हैं। 66F, 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 66F। माने सदस्य आप उनका जवाब। अदनी अध्यक्ष जी, वो करेक्ट हो, करेक्ट होगा 66F। B, uh, so NIA has a pan India presence in which 272 cases were registered and judgments have been pronounced in 51 cases out of which conviction is secured in 46 cases. Overall conviction rate is more than 90%. NIA has secured conviction in the case of five Indian, five Indian Mujahideen, uh, IM operatives, senior operatives including Yasin Bhatkal who has been awarded capital punishment for the twin blast in Dilsuk Nagar, Hyderabad in serial bomb blast at Bodh Gaya so when they talk about this, they should know that the 12 people who have been killed and the 31 people who have been killed in Jammu Kashmir in the 6th case, they have been killed by Hafiz Muhammad Saeed, L.E.T. operative, Sayyid Salahuddin Head of Ijbul Mujahideen, Yasin Malik, Chief of JKLF, Shabir Shah Separatist Asiya Andrabi, Chairperson of Dukhtarane Minnat, Masrat-e-Alam, in sabke khilaf, 
जो है कार्रवाई करने से इनकी टेरिस्ट फंडिंग को कम किया गया है और इसीलिए ये आवश्यक है कि एक तरफ धर्म को ना जोड़ा जाए लेकिन धर्म को जोड़कर जिस तरीके की हरकतें पूर्व में हुई है वो आप सबके सामने है आपको यह भी जानकारी है कि इनको उन्होंने कहा था कि अक्यूज इज नॉट एन अक्यूज इज नॉट गिल्टी टिल प्रूव एन गिल्टी माननीय गृह मंत्री जी आखिरी लाइन माननीय गृह मंत्री जी आखिरी लाइन माननीय गृह मंत्री इज नॉट पर्सन इज नॉट गिल्टी टिल प्रूवन तो वो साधी प्रज्ञा के लिए किस किस तरह की बातें कर रहे थे और जो पेंडिंग केसेस है जो खत्म केसेस है उनके बारे में बात कर रहे थे